How's everyone doing today? It's CJ Halleck with CJHalleck.com. And if you're following along, you know that now is the time. Um, we've started on the tutorial to actually build a business. I've documented all my steps from how to find a proper name to make sure that it's not, tra you know, doesn't have a trademark against your name or that you can get the .com domain and available across all your social media accounts. Um, down to logo design and a bunch of other stuff and now it is time to register your domain and sign up for your hosting so basically put we're gonna go to uh, back to hostjack.com so we're gonna just go ahead and do hostjack.com alright so when you're on hostjack.com you're gonna wanna put in the domain that you want so we're gonna come over to know them double check it's TBF labs so we're gonna go ahead and copy that make it easy .com and hit enter or click on search and that's going to go through it's going to pull up the domain and as you're going through you see tbflabs.com is available so we're going to go ahead um, and, and prices on these change from time to time um, as of right now it's 1325 there's a good possibility it might go up there's a good possibility it might go down um, just a disclaimer this is my uh, partner company with GoDaddy uh, for registrations um, so you want to make sure uh, you keep an eye on this it may not be the same as it is in this video uh, I just updated the prices um, based on suggested retail so I'm waiting to see like I said it may go up may go down but regardless it shouldn't be no more than you know maybe a dollar or two more than this but we're gonna go ahead and click add to cart and now that that's added you have your domain. The next thing you need to do is we're going to go back over. We're going to click on the host jack logo. It's going to take us back to the home page. And then we're going to come under hosting. And we're going to click on cPanel. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get our hosting. There are other platforms or, or options here besides the one we're going to use that are cheaper. Um, but let me break down why we're going with the cPanel Ultimate Package. With the change in the um, Google Chrome, Firefox, and a few of the other browsers are starting to show warning signs if a site is not secure and does not have an SSL certificate installed. So, the reason why we're using cPanel Ultimate is instead of spending $40 a year, or $50 a year, wh whatever it is depending on where you buy it, uh, for an SSL certificate, <clears throat> you can actually get the SSL certificate for free for one year by signing up for this package so it basically covers a few months of hosting you know and what you would spend for a separate SSL certificate um, so it's it's cheaper and it's easier when you're getting started um, so we're gonna go ahead and click add to cart and like I said there's other different things you know I mean and, and it also doubles the processing power and memory that you have and it also allows you for unlimited websites and stuff like that now Disclaimer, they are, you are allowed to have unlimited websites, but some of your resources are limited. So if you do try to build out, you know, hundreds of websites on one server or one account through the cPanel, um, you will see some issues, IO overage, you know, stuff like that, um, which is nothing that should concern you. Uh, like I said, this tutorial is just for one website. Um, if you're interested in uh, upgrading be sure to call in the host check um, we have a phone number right here um, once you sign up um, if you plan on upgrading you can call in give them your customer number and help them out um, or if not when you call in uh, to the phone number uh, just let them know you're looking through host check and this is what you're wanting to do and they'll be able to help you make sure you get the best decision um, if you're doing anything other than what we're doing with a basic one uh, uh, single website so we're gonna go ahead and click add to cart on this and now we have the domain and the uh, hosting both in the cart now if you notice since it pulled it up when you get this at 12 months you'll notice that the uh, SSL is free and it doesn't have oh it didn't save the domain and the but anyways um, not only is the SSL free but if you pay for 12 months in advance your domain is free as well um, so feel free to do that if you want to do that for the reason for the uh, or, you know for this tutorial I'm gonna just go ahead and click this at one month and 
we may have to go back and add the domain. Um, I don't know why the domain didn't stay in there, um, but you can go back and have another purchase, uh, uh, add another purchase if you need to. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and create account. So we're gonna go ahead and sign this up. <clears throat> and uh, I'll have most of this on the screen. I'm gonna pull it away when I do passwords and when I enter payment information and stuff. But for now, we'll just go ahead and get going. So we're gonna go ahead and use the email that we created in Gmail. And then you're gonna create your username and password. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this off to the other page while I do that. Okay, and then you want to create a four-digit support pin. And this is something um, that they'll use to verify your account when you call in if you have questions. So you want to make sure that you use a four-digit pin that you can remember. Um, this is not anything that you'll need online. So it could be something that just, you know, you use in your brain that you just remember when you call in, you want to use that. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll click on create account. All right, now we'll go ahead and click save. And now it's time to go through and um, fill out all your information. Uh, so you wanna come in um, and we'll click first name, last name, phone number, address, Postal code, state, city, automatically populates, and save. Next step is your payment. So you can choose here if you wanted to use a credit card, a PayPal account, or a checking account. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my card number. And I know I said I was taking it off the screen, but I realized I'm going to have to go in and edit this anyways to blur some other stuff out. So we're going to go ahead and do it anyways, and I'll just have extra edit to do later. Um, so I got the card in. Where the next thing is going to be the expiration. You want to make sure you get this right because it could be a pain if you mess up. Um, your six-digit security code on the back and hit save. And then now that you have that, the next thing we're going to do is click complete purchase. This is going to go ahead and create your account, set you up for the hosting in the SSL. And the next thing you're going to have to do from there, basically, um, and you see, thank you for the order. Um, and so now if you go to your account, uh, well, let's do account settings. Oh, so it hasn't processed um, where it's actually showing the hosting yet. So we're just going to go ahead and search for a new domain right here. And we're going to go ahead and put the domain in again and buy it now since it removed it from the cart for some reason. So tbflabs.com. All right. If it doesn't need to freeze on me. And it's pulling up the old host check for some reason. All right, so let's just, I'm going to, okay, here we go. Add and proceed to checkout. All right, so now <clears throat> it has all the information um, for your domain registration. Uh, this is very important. You need this when it comes to, okay, so. Seven nine seven. All right. Um, I'm going to change this to the U.S. But basically, this is uh, legally you have to have all this information right. Uh, so you want to make sure that you get everything correct. Don't miss anything. Uh, business or organization name. You specify the word to specify the I, Yeah, I don't have that. Um, so I'm not clicking that button because this is brand new. I don't have a business you know, license or nothing for this yet. So basically, 
Um, now I'm going to go ahead and click submit. That's going to automatically populate the field and all the information that it needs for the domain registration. And then we can move forward and check out. Um, and so here it is, you know, you have the payment you just used, so you can use this. Um, but the one thing you want to make sure that you do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this to one year. Um, and then you want to make sure always, anytime you buy a domain, that you use domain privacy. Uh, and the reason for that is without the privacy registration, your information, it's kind of like the uh, phone books back in the day, uh, the white pages. Um, for those of you who are old enough to remember those days, if you didn't want to be listed in the white pages, you actually had to pay for that. Um, and that's, you know, you had to pay to keep your information private. And that's basically the same thing here. Your information as far as the registration, um, because I work out of my home, my address that's listed with this account is my home address. So when it comes to that, I don't want my home address listed all over the internet. I don't want my cell phone all over the internet um, because people will use uh, a Whois reverse search, which is whois.com, and you can find all this information out from a single search there. Put in the domain and hit go, and it gives you all these people's information. Um, and that is what's used by marketing companies and things of that nature to actually get your phone number and call you on those automated dialers or send you emails or whatever basically saying, I saw you just registered tbflabs.com. Would you be interested in free web design and then charge you $500 a month for hosting? So just be very careful. Make sure you always add the domain privacy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, get that added. And like I said, it's only $2 a year. And for $2 a year, there's, there's not a better way to spend $2, especially when you get into business. Um, and it's exclusive. It's, it's, it's one of those things, like I said, this is a partnership that I have with GoDaddy. HostJack is. Um, and, and that's one of the things. I wanted to make sure that was super cheap. Because um, if you go most websites, you're looking at $15 um, to register a, a, a domain. Unless it's running a special. Sometimes you can get them for like 10 or whatever. But for the most part, it's like $14.99 to buy a domain. And so what I wanted to do is try to keep the domains cheap enough with the domain that it's almost the same cost. So you get privacy very cheap, um, but basically it covers the, it covers covers its own cost. Um, and since you're here, you have the total at fifteen thirty eight. You can round up for charity if you want. Um, basically, um, I have it Hope for Haiti right now. So if you check that, it'll round up and donate the sixty two cents to Hope for Haiti. So I'm going to go ahead and do that making the total right at $16. So we're going to go ahead and complete purchase. And this is going to go ahead and process off the card again and get your domain in your account. So now that you have that, you're good to go. Let's click on go to my account. And while you're in here, uh, now you see the cPanel has been set up. Your SSL has been set up. Your domain is in your account you are now ready to start moving forward, um, which we're going to be doing in the next video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, hope this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, and I'll be glad to answer those. Um, or you can shoot me a tweet at CJ Halleck. Um, other than that, if you like the video, please like the video. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications sent to you when I uh, upload new videos. And hope everybody has an amazing day. Be great, stay boosted, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.